Charlotte, why isn't this place open? It's uh, fate telling us we need to diet. Oh, rude. Hello, Incorrupts, and welcome back. I'm Shanna. And I'm Charlotte. And this is where I share my life and stories and adventures and opinions and, and whatever, whatever else, else I feel like. like. And in this video, we are on our official day two in Bangkok, Thailand, and we are heading to a floating market, which is super cool. It was so cool. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> okay guys, we are on our official day two in Bangkok and we just grabbed a grab, which is like the Uber here basically. And we are heading to a floating market. What's the name of the floating market again? Kong. We consult the Googles. I don't want to say it wrong. Kong Lad Moyong. Mm. Or something like that. Something along those lines, floating market. It's a floating market obviously but it's supposed to be not touristy a lot of tourists don't go there and it should be really fun yeah I'm excited I read that there's at least three big ones that people go to and this is not one of them where it's the lesser of the three um, so we're gonna go to that one first and then maybe go check out um, a mainstream one mm. that's on the way back mm. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Me too. I didn't get to do this last time I was here. <laughs> All right. We'll consult more later. All right, guys. We made it to the market area. So let's go do some shopping and exploring and get some food and coffee. Oh yeah, I meant to tell you, our grab cost about 191 baht, which is cheaper than a taxi, more expensive than the bus, but the bus takes two hours and the grab took about 25 minutes. So, there's that. Traditional Thai coffee in the bag. How fun is that? Oh, yeah, condensed milk. That's how I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.
about this magical little wonderland. Yeah, this is definitely somebody's home. It's beautiful though. idea what I'm gonna eat next and it's so exciting it's a mystery especially in a foreign country because literally I have no idea what they're even it could be anything yeah not at all and coffee is always a good idea always just for the record I think I think they understand coffee <laughs> This is, but we'll put a little bit of that. It looks spicy. We might have it. Not so much. 
This looks delicious. So good. All right. I feel like it needs to be mixed up. Yeah, of course. So let's give it a stir. These are a mystery. As of really yet. mix those spices in there. Mm -hmm. Mystery. I think they're some sort of dumpling, so I can probably eat them. Yeah, the texture is really cool. I like it. Yeah. What's this? Like I have lip injections. <laughs> My lips are so tingly. I'm sure they're like really red right now, but by tingly you mean burning. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Fate telling us we need to diet. Oh, rude.
do you want to try? That blue one looks cool. Yeah. Sago? I don't even know what that is. I don't know, but I'm down to try it. We only need one. What's your favorite one? Uh, the two of the ones they recommended us. They also recommended the taro, but we got the tapioca and the pomegranate, which we figured out by doing John Ken. <laughs> So we got pomegranate instead of double. Yeah. And excited. They're, it was more colorful too. It was. This looks really pretty. Yeah. Ooh, look at the colors. Can you take a picture? Yeah. All right, Charlotte. Itadakimasu. So it's it's pudding. It's pudding. Co yeah. Coconut pudding. Some kind of With pudding. With a coconut topping. Yeah. I think it's coconut pudding with the topping. I think their English is preference. Mm. It's warm, A, which I wasn't expecting. And kind of salty. Oh, interesting. Like the pudding is sweet. Yeah. But we also get like a layer of salt in there. Okay. Fascinating. Try the blue one. Try the blue stuff. It's delicious. <laughs> Don't believe me, ask the dishes. Mmm. It's chewy because it's tapioca. Mm -hmm. It has that same same thing where it's sweet coconut yeah. at the bottom. And then there's kind of like a layer of salt. Mm. Okay. okay. Give it a try. Excuse my sweaty, sticky hair. Uh, it's really, really, really hot and humid. But these are definitely delicious. She's right, it's sweet but salty at the same time. The texture of the tapioca is really interesting with it. And I like both of the flavors a lot. Yeah, it's really good. The pomegranate's nice because the seed is still in there and usually you can't eat that, but it's been stewed or something so that can eat the seed and it's not too hard. Yeah. Very good. Definitely recommend this if you come here. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. We should find is. out what the name is. We should find out. Tapioca bowls. Tapioca yeah. something. Pudding. Pudding. Pudding something. Pudding something. But, I don't know. It's good. That's all that matters. military base on June 27th, 1973 with a length of 7.80 meters. You gotta be careful, there's dragons in these rivers. Oh my god! Lord have mercy!
much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, leave a little boat emoji. And this is us on a boat, apparently. <laughs> Me buying a boat. <laughs> So what that does is it not only helps out my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you are here and it gives us a chance to chat. And if you want another way to support my channel, there are links down below to my Patreon and my merch store. So go check those out if you want to, but there is zero obligation. <laughs> and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye. Hello interwebs and welcome back. I'm Shanna and this uh, is my share my- Oh, <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I forgot! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay.